Parents, welcome to How to Teach Your Kids Synonyms. Synonyms are words that have similar meanings and can be nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Now we have a chart, types of synonyms. I recommend printing this chart out so kids can look at it and refer to it as they're completing the activities in this video. The link for all the templates in this video are listed in the description section. Now let's look at the types. Nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. For nouns, we have our first example, bunny and rabbit, then verbs, pull and drag, adjectives, little and small, and adverbs, fast and quickly. Now point to each noun. As you point to each noun with kids, say the synonyms for each one. Bunny, rabbit, present, gift, chef, cook, house, home, bucket, pail, street, road, garbage, trash, and car, automobile. Now for this activity, bring out the printed chart so kids can refer to it. Then with kids, review the word picture bank. Pointing to each picture, say the word gift, rabbit, pail, chef, trash, street, car, and house. Now tell kids that they are going to find the synonym for each underlined word and write that synonym in the space. So do the first one together. She wanted her present. The synonym of present is gift and then continue with the rest of the sentences. And this is a completed example. Now have kids complete the synonym crossword puzzle. One across, the synonym for house is home. Three across, the synonym for bucket is pail. Four across, the synonym for road is street. Five across, the synonym for garbage is trash. And six across, the synonym for automobile is car. Now we go to two down. The synonym for chef is cook. Three down. The synonym for gift is present. And seven down. The synonym for bunny is rabbit. Now we are going to move to the next type, verbs that are synonyms. And as before, point to each picture and say the synonyms with kids. Pull and drag shut and close, sniff and smell, blend and mix, jump and leap, raise and lift, sweep and clean, and grin and smile. Now review the picture word bank with kids. Smile, raise, drag, Close, sweep, sniff, blend, jump. And then explain to them they're going to find and write the synonym for each underlined word. And this is the completed example. Now have kids color the verbs 
that are synonyms. And this is a completed example. The synonyms are close and shut, jump and leap, sniff and smell, blend and mix, lift and raise, and drag and pull. Now we are going to have kids look at adjectives that are synonyms. Remind kids that adjectives describe nouns. So as in the previous types, point to the picture and then say the synonyms with kids. Little, small, cheerful, happy, yummy, delicious, chilly, cold, dirty, messy, sleepy, tired, cozy, comfortable, and crunchy, crispy. Now review the picture word bank with kids. As you point to each picture, have kids say the word with you. Small, cozy, cheerful, crunchy, cold, delicious, dirty, and tired. Now explain that they're going to find and write the correct synonym for each underlined word. This is a completed example. Now have kids draw a line from the synonyms that are adjectives to the correct nouns. The synonyms that are adjectives, little and small, describe the noun snail. Crispy and crunchy describe the noun apple. Cheerful and happy describe dog. Delicious and yummy describe dessert. Sleepy and tired describe cat. And messy and dirty describe shirt. And now we're going to introduce kids to adverbs that are synonyms. As before, point to the picture and then say the synonyms together with kids. Fast, quickly. Patiently, calmly. Slowly, carefully. Loudly, noisily. Slightly, hardly. Totally, completely. Lightly, easily. Really, truly. Now review the picture word bank with kids. Fast, calmly, cautiously, noisily, hardly, completely, lightly, and truly. And then remind them that they are going to write the synonym for the adverb underlined and write it in the blank. This is a completed example. Now have kids color the notebooks that list synonyms. Now let's look at the first two words, fast and quickly. They are colored in because, yes, these words are synonyms. They mean similar things as in the two sentences, he runs quickly, he runs fast. Yes, the words carefully and cautiously are synonyms. They mean similar things, as in the two sentences, she carefully poured the juice, and she cautiously poured the juice. No, carefully and carelessly are not synonyms. They mean opposite things, as in the two sentences, she carefully poured the juice and she carelessly poured the juice. No, the words always and never are not colored in. 
These words are not synonyms. They mean opposite things, as in the two sentences, he always wins the ring toss and he never wins the ring toss. No, the words patiently and actively are not synonyms. They mean opposite things, as in the sentences, the dog patiently waited and the dog actively waited. Yes, totally and completely are colored in because these words are synonyms. They mean similar things, as in the two sentences, the bag was totally filled and the bag was completely filled. Yes, the words loudly and noisily are synonyms. They mean similar things. The lions roared loudly. The lion roared noisily. Yes, the words patiently and calmly are colored in. These words are synonyms. They mean similar things, as in the two sentences, the dog patiently waited and the dog calmly waited. And this is a completed example. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And as always, I will leave a link for all the teaching templates in the description section.